Hey, good morning guys. It's Austin, the car guy, and I've got the brand new Ford Bronco. I actually did a short on this one about three or four days ago, uh, but I just thought you guys would love it because it's a two-door Badlands with the 2.7. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. And if thing. you guys have never been on my channel, make sure to check it out. I am Austin. This is my car channel, and I do new car walkarounds as well as talk about new technology. And eventually we're going to end up going to some car shows. So make sure to subscribe, like this video, and then of course hit the notification bell so that you get notified when we have new videos coming out. That being said, enjoy the video. All right, guys. So as always, starting with the outside. So just so you guys understand the Ford Bronco in its full size, because we do also have the Sport. If you haven't checked that out yet, I have a video of that on my channel. But this is the body on frame based on a modified version of the Ford Ranger chassis. It does have the same motors available as well with the 2.3 liter inline four that we're more familiar with and the newer 2.7 liter the turbocharged v6 that we're looking at today this is the same twin turbo that's out of the f-150 it's now going to be made available in the 24 ranger which if you haven't already make sure to go order one of those uh through me go check out my contact information down in the description but looking at the outside of this bronco outer banks you can see we've got full led headlights this one is a black on black trim, which I absolutely love. We've got the black truck with the black trimming. We do have the white Bronco badging along the front here with our 360 cam. Below that, we've got our radar cruise control sensor along with our active grill shutters for better fuel mileage, which you'll notice those are actually all the way up the grill, which is really cool if you've never looked at those. LED fog lights with our sonar parking sensors and a nice prominent tow hook right there on the front. Looking at our wheel and tire setup on here, more of a basic Bronco wheel. However, I do love the Bronco center caps. We do put nitrogen in all of our tires. It is a 195 add-on. It's the only add-on that we do uh, that's non-optional. Uh, the great news is it does come with a lifetime nitrogen warranty. So if you ever need these tires refilled with nitrogen, you can come back to us or any of our nationwide partnered dealers. Um, a lot of people will ask the question, why put nitrogen in the tire? Uh, summary is it's better for the TPMS sensors. Uh, they're less likely to fail because the nitrogen pulls the moisture out of the air. The other big advantage, uh, not necessarily on a vehicle like this, but more specific with like a Mustang GT like we have over there, or even a crazier car like a GT500, it's going to be performance. Um, nitrogen is just more predictable. You don't have any fluctuations in the tire PSI with more added nitrogen. Um, so there's a few benefits definitely worth looking at. As far as tires go, we've got some Cooper I'm sorry, Bridgestone uh, Dueler ATs on here. They seem to be fairly aggressive, um, which if you're not familiar with the Outer Banks, I've got another blue one over there. The Outer Banks is the on-road trim level. This would be equivalent if you're Jeep folks to like a Sahara. So if you like that on-road, roof off, doors off, kind of cool look to your off-roady, squared off SUV, the Badlands might be a great option for you. Looking at your rear tail lights, they are full LED. They do look amazing. Sorry, they're a little fogged over. It is cold this morning here in South Louisiana. <laughs> Not as cold as somewhere, but there's somebody in the comments in Michigan like, eh, it's a negative 10 here. Anyway, sonar parking sensors along the bottom there. We do have this really cool Easter egg that you'll never see that says Bronco ever since 1966. And I say you'll never see it because your license plate will be here the majority of the time. We do have a rear recovery hook, which is nice even on this outer banks full-size spare on the back mostly for style and then looking underneath you can see solid rear axle with a five link coil spring design just like its main competitor the Wrangler but the biggest difference is when we're up front this has an independent front suspension the Wrangler has a solid axle so you know depending on what you prefer whether you drive more on-road or off-road might make a difference on whether you uh you get this or not and while we're here, as I'm pulling off all these tire, uh, these wheel stickers, I did want to quickly note, if you've never learned how to read a tire date right here in this little oval, is your tire date. This tire was built on the 37th week of 2023. So fairly new tires. <laughs> they should be. It's a brand new vehicle, fresh from the factory. Six lug wheel pattern on here, which is a pretty heavy duty wheel lug to have. Um, you really don't need that heavy duty of a wheel lug, but they put it on here anyway, just to make sure. So I think we've gone over most of our outside styling, but I'll go over some more tidbits for you before we head inside. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Bronco and the differences between the Bronco and the Wrangler already, basically every issue that the Wrangler has, Ford targeted it when they designed this vehicle. So a prime example is the frameless doors that exist, which are actually really enjoyable to own on a daily basis. Um, you'll notice there's no top half to the door. So what that means is you roll this glass down into the door and they actually 
make this door so much smaller dimensionally than what you have on something like a Jeep Wrangler. There's even a lift point right here to help you get this door off. So when you remove this door, you can actually put it in the rear of your Bronco as opposed to having to leave it at home. Same with the roof panels. See this window is one panel, and then this top part is one panel, and then this front part is one panel. They're all different panels so that you can actually fit them in the back of the vehicle. You don't have to leave them somewhere makes this vehicle a lot more useful. Another big part, and talking of the doors coming off, the Wrangler mounts the mirror to the door. So when the door comes off, you now have to decide what you're gonna do about a mirror because it doesn't have one. On the Bronco, they actually mounted it right here to the A pillar, right along the uh, fascia here at the base of the windshield so that when you take those doors off, you still have a mirror that you can drive with. So we've got an LED indicator with also has the spotlight uh, functionality and a 360 cam underneath, as well as a really cool Bronco ever since 1966 badge here and an accessory ready badge there. Cause yes, you can put a roof rack on this, unlike a Jeep Wrangler. One of the other things that they did when they designed this. Overall, really good looking vehicle. I love the stubby look of the two door. You don't see a lot of these two doors rolling around, but when I do, I just love them. This one is actually available for purchase if you guys would like to buy it. So going over our window sticker, you can see we've got a 2023 Outer Banks four passenger, 2.7 liter EcoBoost with a 10 speed. It is shadow black exterior with roast leather, vinyl trimmed interior. We do have the Outer Banks series with the high package, which is a $3,945 option. That 2.7 liter engine is an $8,595 option. And then of course, some miscellaneous stuff for a grand total MSRP of 54,705. Rated for 21 highway, 19 city, 20 combined. So if you're looking for a super fuel efficient vehicle, this is not the one, but let's be real. The Bronco is more of a fun outdoorsy vehicle for those who enjoy the way that it looks and drives, not necessarily for those who uh, want good fuel mileage. So let's go climb inside this Ford Bronco and go check out what it has to offer. So looking at the inside, you can see our door panel. Really, really nice quality here. We do have a pocket here. I would like to have seen them do something here, but I bet there's a reason they didn't. Um, I would have loved to see like another pocket or maybe a molly board or something like that to mount some stuff to, but maybe it interferes with the seat if they do that. I don't know. I just, in my head, that's what I think about when I'm looking at these vehicles. <laughs> we do have our lock unlock as well as a really nice kind of brown leather uh, textured material going on here with some piano black down here which I'm not a fan of the piano black and off-road vehicle, but once again, this is the Outer Banks, so I gotta give it a little bit of slack. We do have the Bronco stenciling right into the base right there. And then of course, this is a manually adjustable seat. We'll climb inside. So once we are inside, you can see this is what it looks like. It is, if you've been in the new Bronco, they pretty much all look the same with the exception of some trim uh, differences. And maybe if you're on one of the really low models, you'll get a smaller eight inch display as opposed to this big 12 inch one. Um, this one is the hardtop. It does have the headliner as an option. So this headliner is optional. The biggest thing that it does is reduce the noise in here when you're on the highway. So if you want this to be a more comfortable vehicle, you can do that. Looking at your Bronco leather slash vinyl roast seats. You can see Bronco, lo bro <laughs> Bronco logo embroidered right into the seat. But yeah, overall, just a really good looking interior in here. I think they did a great job between the off-road characteristics that this vehicle needed to be competitive, but also with the really cool factor that this vehicle needed to be competitive. We do have our goat modes in here. Looking in the back, you can see we've got decent room for people back there. Actually, those seats are really decent, decent storage overall. There's a 12 volt plug back there. I don't know if you can see that right there on the shoulder of the seat. Let me start it up so you can see what the displays look like. So foot on the brake. That 2.7 roars to life. Clear some of these uh, menus out here. But yeah, so there's your center display. You can toggle through based on what you want. There is your lights here on the left. Now these are your side spotlights that I was telling you about. You can turn those on or off through here. You also got automatic headlights, fog lights right in the middle, interior lights, electronic parking brake, topping the hood. Yes, I know the hood's ajar. And then of course, looking over at our center display, this is the Ford Sync 4 system. It does connect with the Ford Pass app to allow you to remote start, lock, and unlock your vehicle. This vehicle is equipped with some driver's assistance features. And what that driver's assistance includes is right here. There we go, they've caught up. All right, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, pre-collision, 
rear view camera, blind spot monitoring, parking aid sensors, rear cross traffic alert, as well as driver alert monitoring. So with that being said, here is your infotainment. It does have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android also, Auto. It also has cloud-based navigation included for three years. After that, it's a paid subscription. But the cloud-based is nice because it means that you can uh, use this anywhere in the world and that your maps will always be up to date. I love how Ford is still keeping uh, actual physical buttons in the vehicle. For example, we've got a quick button for your 360 cam, which is extraordinarily helpful with tons of views to that camera. You can really make this huge. There is a device called the Magic Box where if you're wondering, oh man, I wish I could watch a movie in there. <laughs> Great news, the Magic Box will allow you to do that. Uh, underneath, we do have our dual zone climate with our heated seats and heated steering wheel, a little wireless charging pad right there with some USBs behind this port, one USB-C, one USB-A, there's the focus. And then of course, this really cool Bronco badge. Uh, behind that, oh, here's our key by the way. We do have remote start. It does say Bronco, pretty cool key fob. Um, we've got our shifter for our 10-speed automatic. It does have plus minus right there. Bronco logo, American flag. And then, of course, our goat modes, which are also known as our drive modes. But when we're off-road, they're goat modes. So if you're not familiar with that, there are a ton of different modes that will change the way that the traction control, throttle response, and braking all work together to give you better traction. This does have the trail turn assist, which will basically lock the inside tire to pull this vehicle around a turn if you're in a precarious situation where you can't maneuver very well. This two-door, however, shouldn't deal with that nearly as much as a four-door, but it is something to keep in mind. We've got some USB ports up here on the dash as well as a mount right behind that. This is a camera mount where you can plug in and record your off-road adventures. And by the way, it does have a really nice, airy, glassy view out of this uh, Ford Bronco really makes you feel on top of the world, even in this non-Sasquatch uh, tall SUV. So if you like sitting up high, this is definitely a vehicle for you. I forgot to mention here are our power window controls and our power mirror controls. There is a locking center console here. It does lift up. It does have a shelf. It also has a 12 volt in here. So you can plug in a phone, device, whatever. And then of course we do have a nice uh, armrest there. This glove box is also lockable. You can see all of our Bronco accessories in there. But yeah, overall, really nice Bronco. We've already popped the hood. I think I forgot to show you guys the cargo area. So that's where we're going to go next. Opening up the cargo area, it does have passive entry on it, so we can leave the key in our pocket. And this one does have some cool Bronco accessories. For example, we've got the door storage bags. We've also got the panel storage bags. And then, of course, some rubber floor mats back here. So those are all the accessories you get with your Bronco two-door Badlands with the 2.7. There is also a 12 volt and some lights back there. And then just a quick view at that interior one more time. Because it is so, so, so nice. All right. And I forgot to mention, on this back tailgate, it says accessory ready. You can put a table, um, a little shelf, whatever you want. Just mount it right to this door and it'll be good. You notice Ford badge right there. There's not a lot of Ford badges on this vehicle, but there is one on the bottom corner, which I like because it reminds me of the old school Ford trucks that had that logo there. And here it is, our 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6. 325 horsepower, 400 pound-feet of torque, paired with the 10-speed automatic transmission. As far as maintenance items go, we've got our coolant and washer fluid up here in the top left, a little PCM or ECM. A air intake, which is probably where our air filter is. I imagine this box doesn't look that super easy to get into, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> you'll notice our engine oil dipstick right over here, along with our coil packs right on top. Oil fill right there. Um, we do have our battery right over here on the right, along with our low or high pressure AC, so you can get to that. And then we do have our brake fluid and our fuses right behind there. So maintenance items are all fairly easy to get to. The headlights, eh, I don't know if those bulbs are as easy to change as a Bronco Sport, but they're there. Um, this is a prop rod hood, and you'll notice two electric fans right up here on the front, one on the left, one on the right. So if you're a car nerd and you want to know how this thing cools, well, there you go. Uh, anyway, that's everything I have to tell you about it. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, let us know what vehicles you guys would like to see on the channel next, and then also subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell so that you get informed when we post new videos. I try to bring you new content every single day. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching and have a beautiful day.